Um, hello, we are uh, looking at how to create a um, hamper um, if you were looking to send one in, in Britain. Okay, so um, hampers for Britain are a, little bit, are a little bit different from hampers for uh, Ireland or anywhere else. Okay. Um, hampers for Britain have um, a, a, a dominant uh, com set of companies. There's quite, there's a heritage there. There's a heritage. So when you're designing hampers for Britain, um, it's more difficult to just randomly put things in. So this guide is to, to show you how, um, if you were putting together your own hamper, the, the types of, of high quality products that you would be looking at putting in yeah. and how to actually arrange them in a way whereby you can make the person that you've sent it to believe that it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a professional brand, you know. So yeah. it's a way of of, of saving uh, money uh, for yeah, yourself. Yeah, if you want to do it yourself instead of going down the route of buying off one of those um, companies. Once you've edited and selected the products that you want, you're looking for uh, the lead component products. So your top layer. Okay, yep. because you want to emphasize a color coordination and you want to emphasize the more expensive components of your hamper on the top. So okay. We've selected some of our um, nicest, most expensive products here. Um, we've got the chocolates, the um, tea bags, and we start off then with straw in the bottom. Yes, it's tinned tea bags. It's tinned tea bags, sorry. Yes. It's, okay. it's, it's very hard to find chocolate. It's handmade panned chutney. It's exclusive, you don't yeah. find in the shops. Chocolates and it's like um, farmers, yeah. uh, small producers. Yeah, small like products. artisanal products. Okay. So we've layered the bottom of our um, basket hamper it's a hamper yeah yeah these are these are hamper boxes with you know. um straw and we're going to place our products in the bottom okay. they don't need to be as precise as kind of um, the top layer because you've had that initial moment the depth brings the experience so as you pick them out you well the recipient will pick them out it doesn't need to be as professional looking underneath that first layer. So what I've done here, Poppy, is, is I've put, say, the a chocolate, you know, it's like a handmade chocolate yeah. spread. I've got the cake, um, biscuits, I've got fruit or jellies and whatever. Things that not they are the very best of yep. your favorite flavors, okay? Because you don't want to send something to somebody that they don't want, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it has to be the very best of the, of the things. And you can obviously edit your selection according to the person that you know. Mm -hmm. But for us, we try to keep them as appealing as possible to as many people as possible. We don't tend to put random flavors into it. Um, and then we just simply arrange them in like this. And, and what you end up with really is, is like a mixture of high quality, expensive yeah. things um, and some little like, some unusual. Things. So the yeah. snackier things tend to be more healthier for you. It's just it's like. Oh, I haven't seen that before. That's what you're that's what you're going for here. Yeah. And that's it. Now you've got like your first layer. I whenever it comes to hampers for Britain, um, particularly like that sense of mystery. Yeah. Okay. It does. It creates that experience that we've kind of got a whole second layer to go through, to like pick up. They'll look at the products, they'll, you know, smile and think about how they're gonna enjoy them. So it creates more of an experience. And you're supporting those smaller yeah. producers as well, and and you're you're uh, advancing their um, um, uh, brand awareness so that people can go and 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 maybe buy that again into the future. Yeah. Um, so that would be our conclusion here. Yeah. You so wrap we up there. Finish up here. So we pop it through there and tie a bow. So if you want to make a hamper in Britain, these are some of our tips to make it a great Britain hamper. Thank you.